told you to stop killing people. They look alive to me. Because I saved them. Well, that's why I waited until you were there. I got the information I needed. No one died. I did it your way. He does have a point. I know it got lost in all the confusion, but we still have some issues to settle here. There are only heroes, and there are villains. You think yourself a hero, but you would let these criminals go free. Heroes don't kill people. Well, I do. This is the Shadow Band Master, Mike the Philosopher, here with a ranking on Black Adam. You know, it's all black everything over here. All black everything. All right, we, we review everything black, okay? Black Adam, Black Panther, we're going to get it all in, all right? Here is my review on Black Adam. First of all, let me say, um, <clears throat> the movie was exciting okay it was it was pretty exciting uh it had a lot of action in it okay and i really can appreciate that let me let me go into the acting of it um i thought the acting was good uh some of the actors in it of course the rock uh pierce brosnan um aldis uh hodge uh noah sasha uh quintet quintessa um who plays cyclone uh the acting was pretty good in the movie i thought i actually thought uh hawkman did a good job um <clears throat> he came off to me as one of the better actors in the movie maybe because of the lines he had maybe because of the responsibility he had um he just seemed to glue everything together in my opinion uh so he was really I would say the MVP of the acting part of it. Um, so shout out to the Hawkman, uh, Aldis Hodge. Uh, he did a pretty good job <clears throat> with that character. Okay. Um, all that being said, I gave the acting about a 3.5. Okay. Uh, as far as the action goes, it was a lot of action and it. it was it was a good amount of action that the type of action you would want to see in a uh you know very you know uh, action-packed and, and comic book way you would want to see a lot of action in a comic book series in the dc uh comic books so and and you know bringing this character to life you want you don't want to disappoint you want to bring the action so they did they did a, a fairly good job of that i thought that there was a, a good amount of action in it and it kept you engaged kept you glued to the screen um so i would give the action in it about a four as for the uh cinematography i thought that that was pretty good too um you had a lot of not only just action but great graphics and uh cgi and things like that to really connect you to the movie so i thought that that was done well and i gave that a four out of five also uh the storyline let me talk about the storyline the storyline um it I, I feel two different ways about it number one i feel like the storyline really um it's a good it's a good storyline um you know he was a slave for five thousand years he came back a god you know um I, that's dope right there that's that's super dope right there um and you know he don't he he don't he he has different values than some other heroes okay some other heroes don't believe in killing an enemy he do okay i i think that that's a switch and i think that that's dope because then it separates him from a lot of other people 
in a in a superhero you know the concept that you can kill people and still be a superhero or some kind of protector i think that theme is very dope okay i i like the storyline however i will say during the storyline of in the movie it didn't kind of it didn't gel the way that i wanted it to it didn't all come together the way that i wanted to you didn't really see uh black adam or the rock for the first i would say 40 40 minutes 30 minutes to 40 minutes of the movie you don't even see him for a good first half hour they 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 develop in the storyline so much and it didn't really gel um the way that i would have liked he you know he he came on the scene in his black robe and his lightning you know costume and stuff like that and i mean it was a pretty dope entrance but um a lot of things are untold you don't know how he got the powers you don't know what's powering powering him you know um you don't there there's a couple of unknowns that are there that really uh, doesn't make it so that it gels the story gels very well okay so you got to really kind of pay attention um hopefully in the next black adam because i think they're going to make another two they'll get a better storyline done it wasn't bad but it wasn't the best either because there are a lot of unexplained things that still need some answers in order for you to have the story gel together they kind of seem like they jumbled some things together to 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 give off a storyline but it didn't really stick okay um so for that reason i gave the storyline uh, a three like i like the concept of it you know slave and 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 came back and you you are god now you you answer to no one i think all of that that is dope the that the um the storyline but <clears throat> how the story was told in the movie could have been better if i'm being honest uh so that's why i gave it a three uh for the culture um now the culture i think it's, it's great for the culture because um it bring it, it introduces a, a melanated superhero okay um when you say when you think black adam you think of a, a you just think of a black guy now he was supposed to be a black guy the rock i, I i'll i'll give it to the rock um you know i'm not necessarily considering him black do he have to be black i don't know um i think it would have been nice i think if you're gonna pick an older guy you you could have picked uh michael j white i think he would have paid uh played a better black adam than the rock i mean that's just my opinion uh you know he's he's super muscular and he's all these things he knows you know martial arts and stuff like that but maybe he's not the big draw that the rock is so i understand probably why they went with the rock or i don't know if the rock is you know uh executive producing this or ep in this at all i don't know but um i think that if i had to go by people i know in hollywood i would have chose michael j white as black adam i just thought that he would make a Uh, he would make a better uh, Black Adam as far as imagery goes. But The Rock has, he, 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 he second best without a doubt, and he still pulled it off pretty good. So for that reason, I can appreciate uh, The Rock's uh, appearance in this. Um, and I, I still think it was good for the culture because this story gets out there this story is being told the story um of a melanated guy who ain't taking no mess after five thousand years and you know he he coming for heads i i think it's the dopest concept even more so than black panther believe it or not i i, I like the concept of this more so <clears throat> than black panther but um I still think it was it was it was pretty dope. It was pretty dope for the culture. 
Um, Pierce Bronson, he did a pretty good job as Dr. Fate. Uh, I think that his acting is always pretty good. He, you know, he's, he, he's just a great actor. Um, it's, uh, there's a spoiler about him later on in the movie, but I'm, I'm not going to give that away. All I'll say is he did a pretty good job with it. And, um, you know, I would I probably even like to see more of it, but he is this same sophisticated, you know, high elegant, you know, British self pretty much. But uh, he, he, he plays he plays the role of the Dr. Fate pretty good. So um, shout out to him. Um, you know, the, the, the now let me say this there were two characters that I thought that were uh, a little limited in their abilities and their appearance. And that was Adam Smasher and Cyclone. Um, Maybe because they took so much time to tell the story, they didn't get a chance to really highlight those uh, characters that much. But hopefully in maybe uh, Black Adam 2, you will see more of these two. Uh, not that they didn't play a role. They did play a role in the movie. But in my opinion, you didn't really get a good feel for their powers, especially Cyclone. Like, I really didn't get a good feel for her powers in this movie. Um, her powers need to be more on display in the next movie so that you can appreciate the character um adam smasher he he had a little bit more of you know abilities in this movie but it was still uh not very impressive i actually want to see him smash adams not just get big or something like that i want to see him smash adams and you know maybe I'm, I'm looking for different type of powers from a, a guy called Adam Smasher, you know? So, you know, that being said, I was not overly impressed with those two characters in the movie. Hopefully they can evolve in next uh, Black Adam movie and really do some serious damage. Um, you know, the uh, Sabak, he was the, you know, uh, antagonist in the movie. He was the the demon or whatever and you know he played a decent role it was really just to get you to invest in the story okay every there has to be a villain he was there <clears throat> his powers wasn't um all that impressive but it was enough to tell the story of what's happening and and to give uh you know clear indications on the antagonist and the protagonist uh, which is uh, Black Adam, even though he's ruthless in his methods, he's still the protagonist. He's still the hero, so to speak, um, there to protect the people. So uh, for that, you know, I, I think that it was good. So, you know, it was it was action packed. It was it was acted pretty good. Uh, there was also Viola Davis in, in this movie. and She played a small role. But I have a question for Viola. Why, like, I don't know what it is. It just seems like she's taken a lot of these um, questionable roles, okay? Because in the movie, she um, is against Black Adam. Uh, she she is so against Black Adam. And she says, um, I'm going to get somebody to, 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 to battle you. Now... You know, Black Adam, like, bring on whoever you want. And so she calls, and this is a spoiler alert, so if you don't want to hear it, close your ears now. Uh, she calls Superman. She calls Superman to come fight Black Adam. Like, and, and not only that, so so the Black woman calls, uh, you know, the white superhero it's, it's comic books at the end of the day but the imagery is what i'm talking about okay she called she she calls on you know superman to come fight black adam all right and not only that but the atom smasher and the cyclone getting back to those characters 
they had sort of a love affair thing going on. So it's it's another another it's, it's a, a little more Hollywood. It's, it's more Hollywood tactics. It's more you know black women cowing kowtowing to you know the European man and the and and anything black is always uh, you know the villain. You know the, the 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 black women are going against you know all the black men and they're in love with these white guys i mean this is just my opinion about it um and i just think that that's hollywood stuff still trying to drive home this narrative i wasn't really overly impressed with that um the cyclone and adam smasher they had a little thing going and then you got viola davis you know calling uh, uh, her savior to 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 beat up a black adam you know a black man so it's like here we go again with the uh, buffoonery so to speak you know and 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 them always having uh you know melanated women against the melanated men and for a while i would even say that um you know hawkman was against black adam so it's still that dynamic of of a little bit of infighting with with melanated people again i know this is just comic book stuff okay but imagery is important okay everybody knows that marketing and imagery is really a thing and they put it in these movies they did it with woman king and now they did it not extreme but it was noticeable to me you know if you're paying attention you can really see it and I seen it. I seen the, the 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 low level marketing that they're still trying to do, which is have all of the you know, the the infighting a little bit with the melanated people, and then the women are against the men. It's just more Hollywood stuff. I didn't that part I didn't appreciate um, uh, of the movie. Okay, I was like, and then I'm looking at Viola like, not again. Okay, really. First with the woman king, and now with this, it's like you love these roles where, where you're going against, you know, melanated men, and 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 you the strong black woman who got all the power. It's just like it's tiring. Okay, it's getting bored, boring. It's 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 just weak to me. Okay, well, I'd love to see you. Um, working with melanated men at, in, at some point. I don't care if it's fantasy or not. I don't care if it's a comic book. I don't care what it is. Just let me see you, Viola Davis, working with some brothers every once in a while. And um, I'm starting to feel away, but that that's the part that I didn't like about it. You know, it's, you still have a, a feeling of Hollywood as usual going on. Um, but, uh, you know, the movie itself, I, I try not to let that spoil um, how I felt about the movie overall, although it, it did it did affect me. All that being said, I gave Black Adam uh, 3.5 out of five stars. OK, y'all tell me, did I get it right? Did I get it wrong? What did you think about it? Put it in the comments. I'll check y'all out in the next one. Peace. Or do I surrender? Here we go. I kneel before no one.